Today we're looking at poodles and seeing what we see. Let's go. Oh, he's got he's got the Rick James do. <laughs> this is the this is when you go to the groomer, you tell me you want the super freak. <laughs> Look at that. Look at these two. Can you imagine seeing somebody walking these two down the street? <laughs> what a sight. They just want to play. Whoever their groomer is needs a raise immediately. Eight weeks old. How far are we going? All the way to a year? Let's see. Eight months? No. Oh, it's a mini poodle. Mini poodle. Okay. I was thinking it was a standard poodle. I was going to say it. Eight months? Something Something went very wrong. But for a miniature poodle, yeah. That seems about right. Great looking dog. Free handing the outline with chalk pens. What are we turning this poodle into? Now, a lot of people will say or complain about, you know, using chalk or colors on dogs. As long as you're using the pet safe chalk, there's nothing wrong with it. The dog does not care that you're painting them, putting color on them. It does not harm them. There's no harm to their health. Um, it's just a purely cosmetic thing. Oh my God, look at a little skeleton dog. It doesn't harm him, but I don't know if I'd, I'd want my dog looking like that. <laughs> Let's see when it's done. Maybe it looks a little bit better when it's fully, fully dry. Yeah, nothing wrong with using colored chalk. Just hair. You, you're going to cut it all off in six to eight weeks anyways. All right, we'll see the final. Maybe the final one will look a little bit better. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, it looks better when it's fully done. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Are those candy corn ears for Halloween? Pretty creative, the, the little candy corn there. If you ever want to do this to your dog, it's no harm. It's not going to hurt them. Um, people that think it's it's bad, it's just a purely cosmetic thing. Perfectly fine. People thinking my dog is a doodle, golden doodle, labradoodle. But really, he's a hundred percent poodle. It's really interesting with poodles because depending on the haircut, they actually can look like different breeds. When I think of a poodle, I always think of like the typical, the typical, I guess, poodle haircut with the shaved feet, the little foo foo, you know, tail and ears. That's always what I what pops into my head when I hear poodle. But Many poodles do look like this. When people come over and you have to warn them that your dog's favorite place to nap is on the kitchen table. <laughs> and they shouldn't even bother using the table because he will side eye you and huff at you. I'm pretty lenient about letting dogs do a lot of things. I don't know about letting them take a nap <laughs> on the kitchen table though. Oh no. Poor guy. How does this, how long was the dog out there for the snow to and get mad like that you know even though dogs do have all that hair and, and thick coats they are there is a limit to how much cold they can take both on their bodies and on their paws they can easily get frostbite anytime there is weather that is you know around 30 degrees uh, fahrenheit or below it's probably too cold it, not probably it is too cold for your dog to be outside if you ever find yourself in this situation where your dog has, you know, lumps of snow mad into their fur. Uh, I would just stick them in a warm bath. That or get a hair dryer and just, no, melt right off. Okay. If I was a woman, I, I could see myself doing something like this. <laughs> I guess I could do it as a guy too, but I don't know what color I'm going to make my poodle. Maybe I'll do it with a blue poodle. How about that? Get me a nice blue fur, dye my poodle blue, and I'll go for a walk down the street. No, 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 I'm just kidding. If you ever see me walking a blue poodle down the street, please call for help. No. Oh, God. <clears throat> not a great idea. I mean, dog's fine. Didn't die or anything, but dogs are not toys, all right? We don't have dogs to throw them halfway across the room. I know the dog landed on a soft bed. Dog survived. It's fine. But, you know, this is not something that you want to get in the habit of doing. Anytime there's impact on dogs with, you know, landing on things, that goes into their joints, into their hips. This is a great way to actually cause injury, cause early arthritis, cause hip and joint problems. So keep the dog on the ground, please. Dog's waiting to pounce like a cat. <laughs> I hear you coming. I hear you coming. Where are you, human? <laughs> Got some patience, this little poodle. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, <laughs> she, he actually caught her. She jumped. <laughs> anyway, maybe I'll try from this side. I know <laughs> I know which way she normally goes. She won't expect me from the right. She's looking. <laughs> caught her. <laughs> jumped again. <laughs> That's a fun game. Poodles are so smart, you know. 
any any kind of relationship, and this is just a great relationship this dog has with this woman. She's done a great job with with training him. There's no chance that that dog flies. There's no way. Go on, jump off. There's no way. I actually wonder how many blue. Oh, it's going up! Wait, I wonder if he's actually going up over there pulling him. I think he's actually going up. How are they gonna get him down though? <laughs> how are they gonna get him down? I like how everyone just sits around talking like this is just a perfectly normal day in this household. Yeah, we grab 300 balloons and tie it to the dog and see what happens. <laughs> all right guys that's all for today be sure to leave a comment let me know what breed you want to see next like this video subscribe to the channel see you next time